Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with uh, some Star Forge. Uh, I had mentioned this actually in a couple videos that this was a game I was uh, looking to get into here. And I wanted to give you guys a chance to be able to take a look at it here. I told you it's a little bit of a Halo Minecraft mix. It's uh, the best way to kind of describe it. You can see the guy right there. Kind of looks like a Spartan. We've got a little crafting menu right here. Um, this is the alpha access to the game. So this is just kind of a... Uh, a demo almost so to speak to uh, it kind of give an idea of what it's going to be like so there is a big release this is my understanding I mean I not like I'm I'm an insider or anything like that but just from what I've been reading in the forums and things like that there's gonna be a major release that's coming out where uh, you actually get to play uh, the full-on game this is just like I said to introduce people to it uh, it's pretty cool I mean I like the idea of it uh, crafted some weapons here as you can see got some some blocks to be able to build some stuff with some laser turrets I uh, get some rocket turrets and then a uh, few other things here as well and of course my gun which I have to save for the end because um, if you click while you're going through that it's, it's gonna fire not it's a bad thing because you got to remember here you guys this game is in alpha uh, if you don't necessarily know what that means Alpha is just like the, hey, we've just started. Yes, I'm jumping off of the cliff as opposed to trying to find a way down. Why? Because I'm cool like this. Um, but Alpha is just like, hey, we're really working on the game. Beta is like, we've almost got it done. We just want to test for bugs and stuff like that. And then you have, of course, the final release. So with Alpha, you got to remember, this is not the final part of the game. Yes, I died, and I have to respawn, but that's okay. All right, so um, there are... Aliens, of course, that you have to survive, and that's one chasing me. So I'm gonna sprint, sprint, sprint away. But anyway, got some different camera angles about it too. You can see this can be first-person shooter, it can be third-person shooter. It all depends on what strikes your fancy. All right, so really quickly, I'm gonna see if I can build something to kind of protect myself here from them. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to. Dang it. Ugh. Oh, this guy's scary. All right, got to switch back here. Actually, he's not even attacking me right now. So, not a big deal. Um, one of the things that I like, of course, is the graphics are a lot better. Uh, you know what? Forget you. Forget you. This guy's a little tough to kill, but I got one. And apparently, there's a couple more coming at me. There's two down. And come on. there we go. All right, so I'm I'm still okay. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a look here on how you can construct things. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, you got blocks. So if you've played Minecraft or any other construction type of game uh, like that, you'll pick up on this very quick. Uh, graphics, you can see, are phenomenal. The thing that I like, too, about the blocks is uh, I can't erase any right now. It's just part of the alpha. Um, so I don't get it in a straight line, but that's okay. Uh, is the fact that they all tie themselves together, you know. So... If you get a structure going, it's going to look like, instead of a series of blocks, uh, it's going to go ahead and look like it was just, you know, all built together, which I think is, is pretty cool. So you can do a lot of different things. Of course, you can see I am building a wall right here. Uh, this is going to be, I guess, a line of defense for me here. So I'm going to build one more block up here, and then I'm just going to go ahead and seal this top part off. Now, I think this might not necessarily be needed, granted, with everything that's happening. But got to give myself some openings here to be able to shoot through. Just in case anybody tries to come after me here. But uh, since nobody's coming right now, I'm going to go ahead and keep exploring this. There's two things when you go ahead and you get uh, the game that you can explore. One is like an infinite terrain type of preview, just to show that um, they are working on that. As well as this, just kind of getting an indication of the game. But... There is uh, mining that you can do. You can cut down these trees to get wood in, in uh, some of the later releases. But uh, for those of you who are kind of interested in the game, they are going and doing a promotion right now on Indiegogo. So you just got to go to Indiegogo.com, and then you look for Star Forge, and you'll find all the information about that. Uh, there are different levels, of course, that you can donate to or uh, donate towards, and you get some, some perks and things like that. Which I think is uh, is kind of cool because they are giving away, of course, uh, you know, if you go at the, the lowest level, which if I recall correctly is $15, then you actually get access to the game. 
uh, the alpha, beta, and full version access. And there's other things you can get. Like you can, you can even go so far as uh, if you you know contribute enough, they'll actually go ahead and use your name or something like that as as part of the game, as like a location or a base or something like that. But um, anyway, using some strategy right here, just seeing that. We've got some of uh, these aliens down below us. So remember, I've got those uh, laser and missile turrets. So I figure I can go ahead, place them up here. Maybe even a spotlight too. Why? Because I'm cool like that. Uh, oh, man. I didn't mean to jump off. Oh, no. Oh, no. They know I'm here now. Not cool. Got to get back up. Yep. See, he's after me now. So... Uh, uh, since this also, remember, is just free to get an idea of what the game is like, uh, you can literally craft as much of anything as you want. So, I've got like 50 laser turrets and 50 rocket turrets, which I'm sure is not something that's going to be normal here in the game. There we go. Setting that laser one up here. Gosh, he's not able to shoot him. He's too close. Why did I have to go down there? I wasn't ready quite yet. But yeah, guys, if this is something that like, kind of looks interesting to you, um, make sure you go ahead and you you support Starforge uh, and, and Hatch. That's the name of the group who is working on this right now. I'm thinking that once the uh, game continues to come out here and we start to see more features, I'm going to love this game more and more. And there's like some multiplayer features on there too, which I think is going to be kind of cool. Uh, I'd be able to take part in here, but this game is just brilliant. Like I was saying, I mean, the idea of merging like Halo and Minecraft or just any first person shooter here with Minecraft, I think it's smart because it's all about surviving here at this point. And, you know, you got uh, the things that make Halo successful. You know, you got uh, good shooter action. Um, and then you also got the stuff that makes Minecraft great as well. And kind of eliminating some of the stuff that is kind of frustrating. Like, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm not saying the, the graphics in Minecraft are, you know, detract any type of experience, but I think we've all kind of imagined, you know, what would be like if we had uh, some better graphics to it. All right. That laser turret down there is finally firing on him. All right. I think it's time that I make like a bread truck and haul buns here. These guys keep getting closer to me. It's not getting cool. I don't know if I can die. I haven't. Uh, I don't think I can actually. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, never mind. I'm gonna set that up here. Oh, shine into my eye. I'm getting out of here. I, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't figured all of the uh, things out yet that I can do with it. But I know there are some uh, of these turrets that are better for vehicles when that gets released. And uh, yeah. all right, finally got him. I think. What is that laser shooting at now? Ooh, there's a guy down there. All right. So I'm going to give you guys a better indication, too, of these turrets and what they are like. Because I think it's kind of cool just getting in this little crater here and then just getting a whole bunch of turrets out. That guy just won't die. It's like Rambo Alien. But anyway, like I said, super stoked about this game. Um, hopefully this kind of lets you guys know a little bit more when I mentioned Starforge exactly what I am talking about. So, hey, once uh, once this comes out here, I think I may go ahead and, and post some more videos just so I can uh, continue to play this here and kind of get a feeling of what you guys think about this game. Because like I said, I really hold some promise. I'm excited. Maybe you guys are now too since you've gotten a chance to be able to see the game. Uh, I was going to show you also the Infinite Terrain preview, but I didn't think that was necessarily uh, something that would strike your fancy, since it just displays for for people who are interested in the game uh, the fact that, yes, there will be Infinite Terrain, which is something I think is always kind of cool, because just having a world without any boundaries is nice. Because even, um, even if you go vertical, too, my understanding is um, if you keep going up and up and up, you actually go outside of the atmosphere of the planet. You can actually go out into space. So these guys are doing some, some pretty awesome things. Very revolutionary. Let's see if I can get these guys here with uh, some of these turrets now. Oh, yep, it's working now. Just surrounding them with rockets. Oh, life was, must be bad for these guys. 
fine. Alright, well that's gonna be it here now for this, because I'm gonna just keep running around here and I kinda go in a circle and go back to that wall that I built. So, like I said, I just wanna make this video so you guys kinda know what this game is that I am talking about and why I find this so interesting. So, subscribe, you guys, if you haven't already. You can uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, all that great stuff. Um, but yeah, you really are phenomenal. I just want to say thank you again for watching this as well as all the other videos that you guys come across and watch. Uh, and as always, you guys, I hope you have a good one. Later.